seniors, there could have been nothing to predict that we would be graduating during a time where the entire world began to weather the trying times of a global pandemic as social distancing, mask wearing, and constant hand sanitizing would have become the new norm. Like many students, we were counting down the days to reach spring break, yet unaware of the time we would be spending counting down to reunite with one another, to smile aside each other, and to celebrate as one. We are reminded every day that our lives have been turned upside down. The reunion of family and friends now have to occur over extended deadlines and six feet apart. <laughs> the lessons, discussions, and interpersonal connections that occur in the classroom are now shifted via online. And to the admin, staff, and teachers who hold our classroom and schools together, they are now rooting, fighting, and aiding us from afar. I know the uncertainty around our lives may seem unsettling, and to begin the next chapter of our lives in a time where the stories of tomorrow can't even be, be predicted can distort our bearings. However, my dear class of seniors, I want to shed light on the beauty that is when we, as a class, have stepped up to the plate to bend in adversity while recognizing the impact we, as a class, can have on the future of each other, our communities, and humanity. I know many of you may be looking at your computers, tablets, and telephone screens to hear this, but I hope many of you are reminded of the success stories we bear and have some solace during this season of virtual reality. Just like seniors past, the majority of us were focused on the lives we were to live after completing high school, moving to college, and enjoying the thrill of a newly gained independence. It is no doubt that many of us, including myself, were infatuated with the lives we were to live, the studies we were to pursue, and the thrill of an unknown future we were finally able to call our own. However, class of 2020, it is not time to abandon the faith of those predestined dreams that are awaiting to be fulfilled, but rather to recognize the importance of this newfound opportunity to shed light and to look around us to recognize the tenacious and resilient qualities we have possessed to stomach this time, to recognize the strength and unity needed for this global pandemic, not alone, but rather united with one another. To those of you who feel as if you're treading in murky water, struggling to see the end of this journey, I want to let you know that we, as a class, are rooting for you. Some of you may be walking a thin line on the brink of breaking. I want to let you know that we, the class of 2020, are rooting for you. I know this cannot replace the nostalgic words of we made it at every graduation ceremony, but I know the satisfaction we will feel as people, as a country, and as a community when we finally hear those words broadcasted to tell humanity that we, in fact, finally made it. With every new journey embarked, with every breakdown endured, and with every moment our lives begin to tremble, it gives us a new opportunity to lay down the slabs of a more sturdier, stronger, and stable foundation. And that is what CS Arts has done for all of us. It has given us the opportunity to recognize the importance of these foundations have become. To many, CS Arts has become more than school, conservatory, or after school rehearsals. It has become home, and above all, family. I applaud and am thankful for every one of you who has taken the leap to leave behind the comfort of familiarity to attend CS Arts and allowing yourself to shape CS Arts just as CS Arts would shape you. Let this bravery, ambition, and yearning for curiosity remind you of the continued work and action that is still needed in today's society. Graduating celebrates the continued efforts all of us have implemented to reach this light at the end of the tunnel known as high school. It is our duty now to continue to pass on this fire as we emerge as artists, graduates, and most importantly, the future of today's unknown tomorrow. 
The stories we are writing through these troubling times, if not told correctly, may have the power to dispossess and to malign. But in the words of Tremanda Adichie, that same story may also have the ability to empower and to humanize. My fellow seniors, during this time, the stories of tomorrow can be filled with uncertainty, disappointment, and trying tribulations that can cause the faith of yourself and others to shake. But each and every one of you has the opportunity to, instead, focus on the strength, the call to action, and the hope needed to aid in today's needed efforts. It is our job to do better. We have to do better. We must do better. My beloved seniors, look around yourselves and begin to write your success stories beginning on how we, as a class, are aiding the fight to save one another, to love unconditionally and unapologetically, to empower ourselves, those around us, and to help humanity. Never forget those who are not given the opportunity to say, we made it, and use this journey into the unknown as a testimony to the life lessons skills, and education we have learned at CS Arts to uplift and support others to say the words, we made it too. Before we close this chapter, I want to leave you with the words of Maya Angelou to guide you all into tomorrow. The ship of our lives may or may not be sailing on calm and amiable seas. The challenging days of our existence may or may not be bright and promising. Stormy or sunny days, gloomy or lonely nights, we maintain an attitude of gratitude. If we insist on being pessimistic, there is always tomorrow. Today, we are blessed. Farewell class of 2020, thank you for everything. <laughs>